Oh, long note junction. The catch up. Uh, to show you a few things before I go to the next stage. This bank here now. It's got a wooden frame. I put this is all I do it. I put wooden frames in. And I stack newspaper in between. As you can see, you get a right nice rock, a cliff face look. Um, so that's gonna have well, I have a little bit there, so I just suck it on there so you can see the crack. Um, I gotta go and get more. It's past the cloth now to go on there, and that will give us then the impression of a big cliff face going around there. And then it'll be finished off on the top with some more scenic work up on top there. So yeah, that's just the old bits that I had. I just just put up there just for vision, for vision. Um, but that's yeah. That's, so that'll blend into the viaduct. Then what we've done here, we've built another sort of bridge right here in the window. Um, it's three pillars. There's three pillars on it. And it's got to be finished off. I've run out of tough, I've run out of all, everything. Timber, plywood, plaster cloth, you name it, I've run out of it again. So tomorrow, I was going to go to the shop in this morning and get it, but I can get it later. And I don't know, I'm up with all that holiday traffic. So I will be outside of the inn, B&Q tomorrow at 7.30 um, to get my bits. The plaster cloth, I may have to got a hobby crap, well I can't get in there, I'll go quite back to nine. So I might go to B&Q, but that last day. So, so that's the plan tomorrow, get the rest of the gear, um, and then we're away. As you can see, I've changed some locomotives over. Um, there's a tunnel being formed here. But I, couldn't, I couldn't drop the pillar straight down, so I've had to create a tunnel scenario. Probably wouldn't have happened like this in real life, but you know. It's not real life, it's a my model railway. Um, so there's going to be a tunnel mouth there, then I'll probably come all the way over to here with a tunnel as well. And then we'll have sort of make this ground up here. I'm going to cut some cardboard and put some cardboard in there on the angle. So I can sort of do something with that in there as well. Then over there is going to be dealt with. That back scene there is going to be lifted up so that we can put some sort of retaining wall along the bottom because there's a platform going where that coach is and a platform going here in the middle where my, um, what you call track is so uh, my programming track, that's it there so it's got a male female on it I just pull it out of there, put, plug it in there and all the way all these cables obviously got to get sorted out but I, you know, I am finished yet. I've still got to wire up um, this yard I'm going to build well underneath all this stuff. But we've got, we've got feeds there already ready to do it. Look, feeds already soldered on, ready to take them. So yeah, it's just a, just an iron there, nothing up there. Um, just an update showing you the crack before I do the plaster cloth, etc. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. Still up in the air here, I've got plans. I have got a plan for this though. For this bridge. I'm gonna make this bridge like a suspension bridge. <clears throat> so there will be another tunnel here coming across there where the pannier is now. Uh, so I can put um, put a pillar in. And this side the same. There'll be a tunnel above boy here somewhere, taking a bit of that out, so I can put a Put another pillar down there you see so then we can build up take it all the way up and the same there and i'm going to try to try and make but these sides are only temporary they're, they're just to put on it stop any accidents but um as you can see it's a bit of a sagging that bridge you now it needs it needs lifting up on the two sides um but i know that so it's not a problem that'll, that'll be dealt with um yeah so everything's good so that's all it is, just a quick, oh, I've got some new wagons, um, Weston's pulling some new weathered, covered wagons there, look, whoever's done them has done a nice job, they weathered them and they put some like matte varnish or something, or gloss varnish rather, in the top, make it look like there's water on top of the tarpaulin, so that's a nice little touch, 
I got some more of them come in. I got some other wagons come in. I got some tankers will come in. So I can get all these trains up and running with a bit of freight. Um, that's the plan. So I'll leave you the trains in a minute. Catch you again. Bye for now. Have a good Christmas, everybody. New Year, etc.